This is a brief exercise on how to create very high quality figures for presentations or documents. We'll do this with MATLAB and what I'll do is have uh, first of all the MATLAB uh, command window come up and um, we will type commands in here and then it'll put it automatically into a script file for us so that we can run it later. Uh, but the very first thing I need to do is just go ahead and change the directory up here in the top. Okay, so that's where it's going to put my file and I want it to put it onto my desktop. So the first thing I'll type is uh, diary um, and then I'll just call this myscript.m. Okay, and then it'll create that script file there. You can see off to the left and then also in this current folder. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is, um, first of all, with any script, I always like to clear all the variables, close any plots that are open, and clear the screen with uh, CLC. Okay, so it's going to put that into the myscript.m file. Okay, so next what I want to do is um, just create a new variable x. And I'll do that with uh, lin space, and I'll go between 0 and 6, creating 100 individual points. You can leave off this 100 if you want. That's actually the default. Okay, and then once I've created that, you can see X down here in your workspace. So you can double click this and it's gonna bring up a, uh, you know, these 100 points between uh, zero and a value of six. Okay, so I'll go ahead and close that back to my command window. Okay, now the next thing I wanna do is just create a new variable Y that's gonna be the sine of X. And I put the semicolon after it to suppress any output, okay? If I leave that semicolon, um, if I don't put that on there, then I get something that looks like this. Um, so what I'll do is just add uh, the semicolon, okay? So that I don't see any output from it. Okay, um, let's see now. Uh, the next thing I want to do I'll go ahead and clear uh, this screen. I didn't cl uh, clear any of my variables. Um, but the next thing that I want to do is go ahead and create a new figure. I'll just do that with uh, figure one. This is optional to do, but um, I, always, I always like to just do this uh, so that um, if I have multiple figures, I can just number them. Okay, so let me bring this off here. And then as we build this figure, we'll see what it looks like on this side. Okay, um, so the first thing that I want to do is just plot, um, just create a plot x, y. Okay, and then on the left, you'll see the uh, sine function that's plotted. Okay, but uh, maybe I want to change uh, the color of that. Okay, so let me just go ahead and just hit the up arrow and I'll do a red line instead. Okay, so there's a uh, red line. One thing to make sure you keep in mind is that you want these figures to be able to show well in black and white. So um, if it's printed, um, you know, we're gonna be plotting uh, two different uh, plots, Y and Z, uh, or two different uh, trends on the same plot, then uh, we wanna be able to distinguish those from each other. So. We're gonna change this maybe to a, uh, a dashed line instead. So R and then two dashes will make that into a, a dash, okay? And then if I uh, put hold on, then it's gonna hold on to that uh, dashed uh, one and then I can do plot um, X and Z and let me change that to a blue and I'll do a dot dashed um, line and let's say I want to make that just a little bit uh, thicker as well. I'll change the line width to uh, three. Okay, so I've changed that to uh, line width. You can see all the dots there. There are too many of them uh, to be able to see that. So uh, maybe something else um, would work better. Okay, it looks kind of like a solid line with all the dots there. Okay, um, now what I want to do is also add an X label, and I'll just put that down as X. Okay, so you can see that it appeared right down here. Now I'm going to put something as a Y label on this side. Okay, and then I will have um, 
I'll just put values. Okay, the values. Okay, and then uh, let me put a legend in there as well. And so my first one is going to be Y. My second one is going to be uh, Z. Okay, so there's my uh, legend uh, right here. I can move it around. I can resize this figure if I want to. Um, okay, so um, that's kind of how to make the, the plot look good. I can also change uh, the axis limits. Um, so let me just change the X limit uh, between 0 and 3, for example. Okay, so I've resized that. And maybe I want to give a little bit more room on my Y. Um, so let me go negative 1.5 to 1.5. And there's my, you know, just adjusting the, the limits there for the axis. Now, as a final thing, I may want to save this figure as well. Okay, so if I do save fig, then I can save it as, um, you know, my plot. And then if I change it to .png, it'll save it as a PNG file. Um, let's see, it says it must be a fig file. Okay, so let's see if we can do this again. Uh, my plot, okay, you can save uh, as a fig file, okay, and then you'll see my plot.fig show up right there. Let me type help on save fig because I know there's a way to um, also export these, okay. Um, actually, let me try uh, help save as. Okay, okay. There's the uh, there's the one we want instead. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and just do save as and just see if this will work. Uh, save as and then my plot dot png. Okay, we got to do a handle instead. Okay, so I'll just create a handle and uh, for figure one. Okay, and now I've got to do save as my handle, which was H, and then I'll do my plot.png. Okay, and let's see if that created a PNG file there. Okay, so there it is right here. It um, saved it as, let's just open it up. Okay, so there's the PNG file. That works well, for example, for a a PowerPoint, uh, you know, presentation or on the web or something like that. Um, another format, which is the EPS format, works better for technical documents, uh, especially if you're using LaTeX. Um, so let me go ahead and save that as an EPS. I don't have anything on this Microsoft Windows computer that will uh, be able to open that. Um, but another thing that I like to do. Um, is just go ahead and resize it. Um, you notice that PNG it was kind of um, you know just one size there. You can also come here and do File Save As, and then you can select how you want to save it. Okay, so let's say for example um, you wanted to save it as a PNG file. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just save that. You'll see it kind of flicker uh, white for a second as it does this screen grab um, from the plot and uh, let's go ahead and just open that and so you can see it's it's a little narrower than the one that we had uh, you know a little less tall than the one that we had done before okay so that's uh, that is a brief tutorial on uh, on generating plots with uh, with MATLAB and being able to export those as a PNG or an EPS file uh, let me just do one final thing. I'm going to turn the diary off. Okay, and that's going to then save all of these commands into my script. Okay, and then when I open that, um, it just has all of the uh, output here. Um, now, you can see that it also output all of these Z values. So you may need to go through as you uh, and just clean it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to clean this up, uh, get rid of the ones that don't have um, the semicolon at the end. You can see a couple things that I tried there. I'll just clean up uh, some of these values. Okay, 
and there's the help file okay we don't want that in there because it could give an error okay a couple help things um, you can see that the diary is going to output a lot of stuff okay and then we saw that save as didn't work either so we needed to um, create a new handle to our figure what we could have done is just done that originally h equals figure one and then not done it a second time okay and then we have the save as and the save as and I'll get rid of this diary off okay so what I can do now is just run this script um, I'll run this script and it'll generate my two plots in PNG and EPS format okay so I'll just go ahead and click the green button to run this and it'll open it up and then it also generated I'll just show you that I'll get rid of these right here and I'll get rid of that one um, let's see I had an error let me come back into here okay so let's try to debug this um, I don't need that one and I had my handle here to the figure um, and then I had my save as commands okay so let's see if I've got let me run this one more time and just see the error that popped up okay no error that time it must have been um, okay there are my two plots uh, you can see I deleted those and if I open it up I can see the PNG version and I had software to do so I could open up the EPS version as well okay so that concludes this uh, tutorial uh, using MATLAB um, again I just typed the uh, commands in here to the uh, the command window uh, but also post um, this uh, copy of this uh, if you need help with any of these things you can also come over here to help plot and then it will give you um, some information for example if you want to change the color or the, uh, the symbol that you use uh, to represent uh, your data points. Okay, so that concludes uh, this demo, um, and thanks for watching.